Okie dokie. In this video, they say using the following voting system, find the Banza power index of the voter with 20 votes. So I'll try to work it out a little bit faster in this case. If you need more of a breakdown, please visit the last example where I delve into the notes and, you know, do this example. All right, let's give it another go. Our first step is finding all the winning coalitions for this voting system. So I'm going to call these A, B, C, and D. So first winning coalition is totally A, B, C, and D. 54 plus 40 plus 20 plus 5. Okay, how about this? A, B, and C. As long as you have B and C together, you know it's going to meet the quota because it's, you know, greater than 60. Um, so let's start with all the combos with A, or sorry, with B and C in them, I guess. So there's A, B, C, D. There's A, B, C. There's B, C, D. There's just B, C. And maybe that's it for all the B, Cs. Okay, so now how about any combination with a b we've already done some so let's add in a few more uh a b we've done a b c we have not done a b d i think that's the only one we're missing here a b d okay how about just can't just do a d could do a c have we done a b just by itself oh we haven't done a b by itself and then we can also do AC. Can't do AD, though that doesn't add up to 60. Okay, so these are all, again, winning coalitions, like adding up all the voters in each of these still is greater than or equal to 60. So then, how about leaving off A? There's BC. We did BCD. Can't do just CD. Can't do just BD. We did BCD. Oh boy, do I have them all already? I don't buy it. A, B, C, D. We did A, B, D. We did A, B, C. This is like the hardest part, just coming up with every single one. It's so confusing. But hopefully, that should be it. Oh, boy. All right, 54. It's hard to, like, tell if you have them all, too. So you just kind of just got to keep thinking about it, I guess. A, B, C, A, B, C, D, we did B, C, D, we did A, B, C, we do A, B, D, A, C, D, is A, C, D one? A, C, D is totally one. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. All right, now let's count all the voters that are critical. Let's list all the voters that are critical in each situation. So in this first one, who is critical? If we leave them out, who's you know is, is it not going to add up to more than 60 if we leave off a it's still you know it still has b c so it's fine uh, if we leave off c it still has a b so it's fine if we leave off b it's still you know it's fine so if we leave off d i don't think anyone's critical so no critical in this case so i'll just say none now a b and c again if you leave off c you're fine if you leave off B, you're fine. If you leave off A, you're still fine. So I think none in this case as well. Uh, B, C, D, B, C, D. If you leave off D, you're fine. But if you leave off C, you only have B plus D, which is 45. So C is critical in this case. If you leave off B for the same reason, 20 plus 5, C plus D is not meeting the quota. So B is also critical. Let me put them in order, B and C. Okay, we're on a roll here. So B and C in this case are both critical. If you leave off C, you just have B. If you leave off B, you just have C. And so B and C are necessary in that coalition. They're critical. And then in this case, you can leave off D. That's totally fine. But if you leave off B, you have A plus D, which is just 59. That's just short of 60. And so B is critical. And then A... If you leave off A, you just have B plus D, which is 45, so A is critical. And then A plus B, it's the same situation. Any of these, like, two situations, these two uh, voter situations, both of them are likely going to be critical. Um, so A and C again. A, C, D, that's going to be similar to A, B, D, I think. Yeah, so in this case, D is not critical, but A and C will be. So now, 
the voter with 20 votes is what we're concerned with. Voter with 20 votes, that's voter C, okay? So let's count the number of times C is critical. One, two, three, and four. So four out of the number of times anyone was critical. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve is the total. Four divided by twelve is one third. Come on, baby. One third is our answer. We did it. All right, that's very satisfying. If you have any questions on this problem or this bonds off power index stuff, please let me know. But I hope this helps.